All right, folks, we going to do a yet another dip review today. I, this is, this is going to be a long day, so I hope you guys stuck around to this point. But I got, what the hell going on with my phone again, damn it. I got the Hawken up for grabs. Uh, you all know what Hawken looks like. Uh, if you've never seen a Hawken cam before, you can find them online. It's got a really cool Hawken rifle. Uh, front lock looks like, or powder cap, probably front lock. On the front there, 1.2 ounces per can. Warning, this product goes in your lip and gives you deliciousness, I suppose. I don't know the warning, stupid. And on the front it says, smokeless tobacco is addictive because it's tasty, sometimes. So let's get this can packed and put a little in my lip. So my deal when I try a new tobacco is I only do a little bit. Because if I hate it, I don't want to spit out a giant chunk of it. Because I'm sure there's someone who would want this can. Especially in my area, a lot of guys are into the smokeless tobacco scene. Let's crack that seal. And I'm sure I could pawn it off on somebody. So I try not to take a hell of a lot. Because I still want it to be a relatively new can. If that makes sense. Let's see, can I crack this with one hand? I think I can. Maybe not. Did I not crack it all the way around? I don't know. Uh, stopped in at a salon I did a bunch of sharpening for and sold some scissors at, and I walk in. They are very happy to see me. Took care of a couple of things for them and helped them uh, with a couple of small problems. Did some surgery on a couple of scissors, just switching out pivots and things like that. Make sure they're working good. This has a very unique odor. It's very winter greeny, similar to Tough Guy, and kind of a pungent, like oaky barrel note to it. And it is a very crumbly like cube cut. You know what? If I upload this video as a second video, then forget about what I said about today being a long one. Uh, we'll call this like a part two then, I guess, of, of my Wednesday travels. Very light hint of winter green in this. And a very light hint of um, almost that molassesy, raisiny, chewing tobacco. Uh, flavor. Almost like a Levi Garrett kind of sweet raisininess. Rum raisin. And it's a uh, it's like this weird cube cut. That um, hopefully it'll settle down. Very, it travels a hell of a lot in the mouth. I know a lot of people that start on Hawken. I did not. My first dip experience was Skullberry. And I'm one of the few people that actually really liked Skullberry for a while. Hated apple, hated peach. Skull straight, berry, and Copenhagen straight were my favorites for a long time. And there was actually the suggestion not so much a suggestion, but after watching a lot of Joey Led's dipping, I give Stokers a try. After he kind of raved about it, and he was right. I like to chew on my spit tasting these things. <laughs> Try to get the flavors all the way around my mouth. I don't know. Just a thing I do. Mm. Really nice. 
It's like a little bit of pepper spiciness to it. And a real nice raisiny molasses note. And if there's wintergreen in this, it's barely noticeable. Very incredibly, stupidly mild wintergreen. And I'm hoping it gives me a little bit of kick in the, in the nicotine department. I don't think it will. Because uh, I've been having a really long day and Stoker's really hasn't been cutting it for me. I've been packing some pretty fat lips of it and I haven't really felt much, but then again, I have been dipping a hell of a lot. So that could have something to do with it, but I don't know. Maybe my brain cells are, are just adjusting to the fact that I'm dipping a hell of a lot more than I used to. But... Uh, spit a muddy amber yellowish color or like a like a cloudy amber kind of like a unfiltered wheat beer kind of a color to it first spit was pretty darn brown but we're kind of at that sort of vice beer uh, kind of cloudy yeasty wheat beer kind of look to it Maybe like an apple cider color. A cloudy, unfiltered apple cider color. And I do taste a little apple, believe it or not, in this as well. Kind of like, um... Like a little bitter apple. Bitter apple and raisin. It's really quite nice. I'm, uh, really impressed. For not a heck of a lot of money. Really nice little thing. I'm not too thrilled with the cut, though. Um, you know, maybe, you know, with some dips, maybe you just got to kind of develop the uh, the knack for knowing on that particular cut. But um, when I try a new dip, I always stick my tongue on either side of the pack to see if there's any like little squidgies that have sort of migrated and floated away. And um, I can say that it's definitely migrating in my lip, though it is hugging my teeth really quite nicely. It's packed against my gum really well. I can like feel it packed up against the gum and the lip or on the tooth. It's actually not half bad. I'm actually kind of really enjoying it. Uh, flavor is definitely starting to fade. So, I'd say we're about maybe 15% of the flavor is gone. Normally I hit this flavor drop off with Stokers and other products at about the 20 minute mark. So it's definitely not a flavor holder, but I think I'm also talking a lot, spitting a lot, and producing a lot of saliva, so that could have something to do with it. Alright folks, that about wraps it up. And yeah, this will be part two of my Wednesday adventure, with Hawkin being the part two version, as you just heard. And thank you all for tuning in today. Hey, it's a Mickey Mouse clock. That's pretty cool. And um, you know what? We'll talk to y'all soon. I gotta run, because I'm almost around the corner from the next salon I need to be at. And... It's kind of crazy around here because it people start to drive a little crazy here where I'm at. So I'm going to let you all go. And um, maybe the next section will be part three. And maybe we'll pop a little red seal in the mouth. Stay tuned.